it's me Jessica Reba and oh my god it's oh no I said I was gonna do this thing weekly but I was really like worried that you guys weren't enjoying it or you guys found it boring since the views on my last like career boo video was like not as good as the other one so I just thought you guys kind of got bored of it but when I asked what kind of videos people wanted to see a lot of people said career boo stuff so um, yeah, I guess if you guys want me to continue this, then I will. I really have fun reading them. So, yeah, come on. Let's just get into this damn cringe. Okay, so I was in an Amino group chat where we would basically roleplay as Bangtan members and stuff. It was cringy as hell, but I had fun. Girl, if you had fun, then it ain't cringy. Do what you want to do. But this is one girl is the reason why the whole group chat stopped. She would roleplay as Jungkook and basically force himself or themself onto the person playing Taehyung even though he was always uncomfortable. She would try to do really gross stuff to him in the roleplay and then would get mad when he said no. But it got bad when one day we all did a face reveal and she freaked out when the person who played as Namjoon was a Filipino boy. Oh, Filip why is it always a Filipino man? I can't. Who I will say was really attractive she flipped out and started spamming the chat with crap like oma, oma, oba, that's how she spelled it and i was trying to calm her down when she actually said you're just mad because you're the only black one here and we all know it isn't cute oh my god oh my god which actually really hurt me and it caused the entire rest of the group chat to argue because they could all tell i was really upset by that which i was well thank god that like your friends like stuck up for you you know but yeah not after that did the group chat die oh and spoiler alert me and the girl who will play Young are dating now ooh, ooh. girl how <laughs> first of all that is like cute congratulations on you two getting together but like just like just the casual racism that career boo said like <laughs> it's baffling to me the career boos are a species that never sees to leave me in awe of their actions. They're evolving. Stop them. I'm a half Chinese boy who lives in Canada. In my school, there's a crazy girl who I'll name T for privacy reasons. Always tries to take photos of me while I'm walking in the hallway. She keeps calling me Opa and uses random Korean words that I just don't understand. She doesn't even know my name. I guess she only cares about like my appearance. Once, this girl followed me and made a lot of stories on her Instagram profile in which she said things like, I'm walking my boyfriend home. I'm scared. Like, for real. I have no idea how old you are, but you seem like you're in high school. Tell a teacher. Tell a teacher. You know, you know, you know what? High school don't even matter. You know, you think it's going to matter when it comes to social stuff, but it doesn't because you're not even going to care about the people in like five years time or how long American high school is. I don't even know if you're from America, Canada, Canadian high school, <laughs> but like legit, just tell the teacher. It doesn't matter if you look like a little snitch. Snitches don't get stitches. They get no Instagram stories and made about that. I don't know. Just tell a teacher, man. Tell a teacher. So, got a bit of a long one, let's get into it, thanks for the little message at the start. Now, my freshman year, I joined this club that would later be named the K-pop club. When I got there, everyone was super cool and I was super excited. But this one girl kind of threw me off and she was really bossy from the start, but I didn't question it because she was the club planner and she was an upper class man. As club settled, I became the choreographer for our cover dances and we tried to come to song conclusion, but she'd bash every third gen group and literally only talk about 21 and shiny which is no shade i love them same girl she said crappy stuff and she trashed mama moo for example when their song came on on random dances she'd yell oh my gosh it stinks it smells like fish in here <clears throat> that that frustrates me and it made me angry she would also trash blackpink saying there were 21 copycats and she would trash trice saying that they were snsd ripoffs i've got so many things to say she would say weird stuff about boy group members like, oh, he's my daddy. Oh my god, that's me at Bacon though. And Namjoon is black, you know, guys. Um, <laughs> alright. That was just the bare minimum. She also fetishized any Asian guy she saw. I guess I'll sum it up really quickly. She also trashed BTS, her lit group, 
What does a lit group mean? She has so much merch but made a post trashing Jimin and Hosok. I texted her and popped off because if you aren't OT7 then get the heck out of here. She basically hopped into every fan one and to every hate train. Since then me and all the other members have moved and she doesn't have a cloak to spread her ignorance and hate to. Period. Thank god you- sorry I like read that last sentence really weirdly. It's like 4am, <laughs> don't judge. But oh my god, I'm so glad that you guys just cut her out. You guys know what to do. I love when my subscribers are just mature. It's so annoying that she was so like shitty towards like so many members of like every group. But I'm really glad you guys got rid of her. Hopefully she'll know better when she gets older. I have no idea how old she is, but hopefully... You know, she evolves from that. I hope she doesn't evolve into a, like, a level 30 career, but otherwise that'll be, you know, it'll be even worse. <laughs> I'm talking out my ass here. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but glad, glad you got rid of her. So I started college a few weeks ago and it was an IT course. The first week the teacher was giving us activities to get to know each other and she gave us a sheet called Mingle Bingo. That is... That is such a teacher thing to do. And we had to find people who we shared something in common with. So I found this guy in my class who liked K-pop and we had a brief conversation and the lesson ended. The next day I came to class late being the sleepy head that I am and this guy saved a seat for me. So I sat next to him. He started bombarding me with questions and before I could answer them, he would answer them himself. So yeah. It was break and I decided to eat outside so I went to Starbucks across my college a few and a few minutes later he came and brought his laptop with him and said he was lonely and was finishing up some coursework. So I decided to go on his laptop and play a Momoland song and to my surprise, this guy disliked every MV of Momoland. I wanted to ask him but he started saying in a loud tone, Don't you just hate these untalented me 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 me? Like one day I hope they just die in an accident and the K-pop industry will be better off without them and stuff. Oh my god, the merry... The, the Momo land protector that I am is fuming right now. After that day, I've been avoiding, but this is harder than it sounds, and I need a prayer from all of your subscribers because this guy is not normal. He put me in a Momo land hate group chat with a bunch of Momo land haters, and he also says that Jenny is his second cousin, and she told him that Momo land were being mean to her. I really don't want to fight this guy. <laughs> I am just <laughs> speechless. Anyways, I really don't want to fight this guy and ruin my reputation, but if he says one more thing about Momo and you'll be watching me on the news for killing him. Joko, Joko, Joko. <laughs> Joke lol, I'm not assessing. Or am I? Ooh, girl. You know, I had to put this on here because I could go on for days about how Momo Land are innocent, how they're lovely girls and how they deserve better, and I will push this agenda till the day I pass away okay you will leave momoland alone random guy that i don't know the name of and you will see me on the news with this girl that i also don't know the name of because we're gonna do a joint murder on you if you keep on you keep on talking shit about my girls yeah i'm coming for you yeah <laughs> oh, can you guys tell i'm sleep deprived okay so i know this isn't a submission but i just thought i would tell you guys about a somewhat cringy encounter i had i don't want to say that these girls were career boos because i honestly have no idea like and i don't want to label someone as that because i just barely know them but i just thought this encounter was funny and you know there's no harm behind it but anyways so me and my friend james we were in bubble tea and there were like these k-pop fans in like the booth behind us we couldn't really see them but we'd like um, we walked past them and we just kind of like knew they were K-pop fans. So me and my friend James, we kind of just like kind of got ourselves into a little bit of like an awkward situation because me and my friend were like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we just like airdropped like a picture of Nancy to them? <laughs> so yeah, we just like airdropped like random pictures of Nancy to them and like they clearly got the message and like realised we were K-pop stans too and we just thought it would be like this funny like back and forth but like... Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't. So, like, we kind of just stopped airdropping stuff. Like, we literally only dro airdropped, like, a few pictures of Nancy because we were just, like, bored. But it got weird when, like, they started listening to our conversation. And basically, I don't even remember the exact thing that me and my friend were talking about. But I think we were talking about Bakeon Solo because it was, like, at the time when he was releasing UN Village. And, like... I think I said something about Bakeon and then they screamed over. <laughs> they screamed over from the other booth. They were like, oh my god, Bakeon! 
Mikey and he had such a sexy mullet in Coco Bob and like it was a quiet store <laughs> and like it, it kind of like shook me a bit because they were shouting over from a booth and like the booths are quite big so you just can't see over them and you know I just <laughs> yeah it was it was interesting wasn't it and then it was like every time we would like mention another group and we were just talking about like upcoming comebacks and stuff like that I think we mentioned NCT ones and they were like oh my god NCT I love Taeyong I love Johnny I love and then they started like shouting about NCT and like it was so weird because me and my friend were just sitting there like oh my god what have we done we've like what have we done <laughs> and then I don't even remember we just kept on start talking about random groups I think we talked about Super Junior and they were like lo siento lo siento and I was like go quiet down it was it got to the point where the staff were like kind of giving them like the side eye as well and it was just so weird and then they like kept on like air dropping like pictures of like loads of like random groups that I didn't really know <laughs> and it was just like oh my god what did we get ourselves into like one nancy picture started this entire thing and I, we were so embarrassed because they kept on shouting they kept on shouting all this like korea boo i don't want to say korea boo stuff because it's just k-pop stuff but you know they were shouting like korea boos and like me and my friend james were so embarrassed and when we eventually like finished our bubble tea they were like still there and we were like so embarrassed like walking past and we like had our heads down we weren't making eye contact <laughs> like girl i could like literally talk about like all of the shit they shouted over that booth like oh my god oh yeah they started playing music off their phone as well i think i started talking about red velvet and they and then like two seconds later they just started playing peekaboo really loudly on their phone even though there was like music already playing in the store from like the tv and like the corner of the store like if that if that makes sense so it was just really awkward because like you had like this chinese music playing because that's what like they play in the bubble tea store and then all i heard was like ding 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 and then they started like playing peekaboo and it was like oh my god are you really doing this it was just so embarrassing but you know I don't want to like frustrate any of these girls but like don't do that ever again please i'm never gonna airdrop photos of nancy again please don't shout at us over the other booth <laughs> okay and that is it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you know you guys want to see this stuff i really have no idea what people want to see anymore and i'm low-key like sad about it because i don't want my stuff to flop and i just want to make good content so i really hope you guys like this so i'm gonna let you guys and leave any submissions of your like um career boo encounters all i'm gonna say is just like please just stop making stuff up because like it's really like hard for me because like i'm only one girl i read through like hundreds of submissions and i can tell that they're like fake and you just want to be on the video for clout and it's like really it just makes my day harder and i feel like you know the ones that are raw and real are ones that like are actually cringy but the ones that are trying to be cringy on purpose are just even more cringy i thinking that you're just sitting up making up stories anonymously like <laughs> you know what i'm saying so please just like don't make stuff up i know i'm stupid and gullible but like please don't make stuff up it makes my time reading submissions a lot harder and that's why i've also been putting off <laughs> making this series but it's a series i want to continue so please submit any encounters you've had let me know you know what you think about the stories let me know what you think about my story and i will see you guys later in the next video i really hope i can start this off again and if i don't do one next week then tell me off and harass me no don't harass me just, just tell me off okay okay i'll see you guys later stand here watch for my like this my baby kiss